Welcome back. This is Joe Barnes with the Master Entrepreneurs, Joe and Jason. Um, what I am going through now is showing you guys how to add your pixels onto Builderall. Real simple, real easy process. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a mock page and I will go into it with my HTML editor. This page I kind of did up. I started doing up, playing with it a little bit. I showed you on the first tool tutorial how to add your base pixel code. But now what we want to do, your base pixel code is gathering everybody's information. But now let's say I want to know exactly who is opting in. Right? Your base pixel code is picking up what's called your page views. People that are just hitting the page, it's firing the pixel, and those are people that are looking at your page. But now let's say I want to create a conversion event right? for a conversion campaign. Remember, what you guys need to understand is to have a conversion campaign or to run a conversion campaign, your pixel needs to be what's called seasoned or your pixel needs to have 100 or more of that event. So let's say you want leads or you want to know the people who are opting in um, to your page. Those are the people that you want the algorithm to go and search out on Facebook. You need to have at least 100 of those people opt in to this email right here. They need to at least give you their email address. And remember, you need 100 or more. Sometimes people do not use their email address um, associated with Facebook. They give you false email addresses, whatever the case may be. So we like to gather 100 or more. We tell people now anywhere between 1 and 300, 100 and 300 um, opt-ins or whatever, conversions, purchases, we, the more the better. The more the, the pixel gathers information, the more it's going to be able to feed the algorithm to be able to learn what kind of customer or what kind of client it is that you're looking for. So the more is better. So first off, what we're going to do, we're going to go back up here to this little yellow um, folded piece of paper. We're going to click it. I'm going to open up my pages. I went ahead and created a mock confirmation page. All I'm going to do, again, real simple, and you can see right down here, this is where people would land. Let's just say this is where people would land once they opt in. So they enter their email address, they enter their name, they're going to come to this page right here. Let's call it a thank you page. So you always want to be able to put the, the conversion pixel onto the following page because then I know they hit that page. So what I'm going to do, real simple, real easy, I'm going to go up. I'm in my pixels right now, pixels right here inside my ad campaign or my, uh, I'm sorry, my uh, business account. I am going to create conversions. I want to track conversions with standard events. So this is a simple way to do it. Let's just say I have one opt-in. We can also track custom conversions. That's using the URL. Um, I can track up to 40 different custom conversions. I'm not going to go into that right now. You're going to be able to see it on some other videos uh, as far as doing that goes or as far as doing that. So I just want to go ahead and track a conversion. So what I'm going to do, let's just say I want to use, I want to go ahead and use track the lead, completed the registration. So what they did, what they did is they entered their email address. And now once that person goes to that next page, I'm going to put this event code. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to copy it. Let's go right here. I am going to open this up. I'll make this real simple. Now, I've got to put this in script. Facebook doesn't put it in script, so you have to put it in script. So I'm going to put the little arrows. Let's see, R-I-P-T, script. Right, so now it just added the script for me. And now all I have to do is go ahead 
and control V and I put my complete registration in there which is absolutely simple right it put the script in there put the end script in there it's a track complete registration I'm gonna go ahead and confirm it I want to save it down here I'm gonna go ahead and save it up here now let's see I'm not sure if we can view that I didn't believe so we can't view it on there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the page I'm going to enter my uh, fake email address, and let's see if it's on there. It's not going to be on this page. So what you're going to do is to test it, you're going to need to go to that page that's live. So you're going to enter your email address, enter your name, whatever it is, go to that next page there, and then you're going to check it right up here to see if it's on there. Let's go ahead. Let's. How about we refresh this? So let's go ahead right so you're going to go ahead and do that, and then you're going to check it right here to see if it's on that page. You should get a page view, right? And then the next one should be a complete registration right there. So other than that, guys, it's real simple, real easy. We'll go back. We're going to make sure it's in there. Again, I'm going to go to there. Oh, wrong one. Confirmation. I'm going to go ahead, click it. We can see that the code is in there. That's exactly what I want. We confirm it. Now, when somebody lands on this page, this is going to fire that pixel. So again, two easy guys. Um, other than that, um, keep watching the tutorials. There's more explanation in there. There's explanation on ClickFunnels. There's um, explanation of what the pixel actually does. This is just an updated tutorial for Builder All users to be able to go ahead and insert their pixel code. Other than that, Joe Barnes here, the master entrepreneurs, Joe and Jason, and we are done.